Epithalon, a peptide that spends its days nagging your cells to behave more gracefully. It's like a timekeeper for your cells, helping them stick to their natural rhythm and maybe even age a little more gracefully. Discovered in Russia in the 1980s by Professor Vladimir Kavinson as a synthetic version of the natural peptide epithalamin found in the pineal gland. Epithalon was originally studied in elderly patients to see if it could support longevity. Scientists noticed it could influence something called telomerase, an enzyme that helps maintain telomeres. Telomeres are the protective caps on the ends of your chromosomes. Think of them like the plastic tips on shoelaces. If they wear down, the lace frays, and in your cells, Frayed DNA is a fast track to aging. Epithalon works by gently nudging cells to keep those telomeres from shortening too fast. It's also been shown in animal studies to support the pineal gland, which helps regulate sleep and hormone cycles. I guess you can call it a cellular reset button. Let's look at the facts. In long-term studies on animals, epithalon extended lifespan and improved markers of aging, like stress resistance and organ function. Basically, it made older animals act a little more like their younger selves. Epithalamin has a best friend named thymolin, and they're basically the Batman and Robin of your biology. While epithalamin is busy resetting your cellular clock, thymolin is acting like a bouncer for your immune system. In one Russian study, using epithalon alone was great, but pairing it with thymolin was like giving your body a survival buff. Now, don't go thinking you've discovered an immortality vial or eternal youth. As with most peptides, human research is still limited, and while the results are promising, we're not at Benjamin Button levels of time travel. At least not yet. This has been Epithalon in 120 seconds. If you want to hear more about peptides that could keep your body running smoother for longer, like, subscribe, and tell me what peptide you want to see next.